Friday the bartender, the club plug. Um, we're going to North Carolina because I'm going to the Dreamfield Festival and I am so, 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 so excited. Um, I'm also nervous though. This is going to be my second solo trip ever in life. Um, so I'm still getting used to traveling alone, but unfortunately I'm going by myself. Um, but that lineup for two days straight, I could not, I was like, I gotta go. Like to me, it is the perfect lineup. It is Ratchet and R&B all in one and I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to North Carolina. I'm going to, today is Friday, I'm checking in one day early just because um, it was four hours away from me and I didn't want to do that driving by myself or no I didn't want to do all that driving right before the festival so um, I got a hotel room for tonight and yeah I will bring y'all on with me so Hey y'all, so I made it to my hotel room. I'm about to unpack my bags, um, lay my clothes out and stuff, cause I'm pretty sure I packed um, 10 minutes before I had to get on the road and I can almost guarantee that. I think I like didn't bring a whole outfit. <laughs> so um, I might have to go to the store in the morning to go get something, like a shirt. Well, I got, I know I packed the pants in a hoodie, but like I didn't pack like something to go up under it so i might have to stop by the store and get something but yeah um i'm gonna unpack i don't know if i'm gonna talk to y'all because i don't know if i have anything to talk about i'm kind of nervous um there's gonna be a lot of people around and i'm by myself and i'm socially awkward so i don't know how it's gonna go but i'm excited and i have to figure out i have bought like a shuttle pass so i gotta figure out how to do that or where i'm even supposed to go for them to pick me up um but yeah, I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is a little after 9.30. Um, I'm gonna go grab breakfast and then I think I'm just gonna go to Target because I really just need like a little jacket. Like I have for today, I have my outfit, um, but it's supposed to be raining. And they also pushed back the opening of the gates today until two o'clock because of the thunderstorms. So I got a decent amount of time to just, you know, chill out and figure out what I wanna do. Um, I had bought a shuttle pass, but I still have to like drive downtown to go to the pickup area. So it's about a 30 minute drive from here. I will probably leave out maybe like 1 1 30 i don't want to get there I, well i don't know i don't know if i should be getting there too too early or not but we gonna figure it out so yeah i'm about to go grab some breakfast um get dressed take a shower obviously in the reverse order take a shower then get dressed and um just gonna fill out the vibes we're gonna live off of vibes today <laughs> gonna let life figure it out all right y'all um this is my outfit for the day nothing super special um but i went on canva and redid this picture that i saw on the internet um because i was y'all are so short man um because i was freaking the fuck out and didn't know what i wanted to wear so we made something i did the graphics on canva and then i had my um my best friend sewed up my shirt for me. We cut the sleeves off a little bit just so I could, you know, show a little skin. Um, I should have bought, like, the shirt that I bought was, like, way too freaking small. So that's why I decided to crop it. Um, but, yeah. So I'm about to head to Target to get another tripod. Um, well, y'all are on, like, a big tripod, like a standing tripod. But I want a portable one to take into the, um, to the festival with me. Um... And then we can start, you know, bringing the camera and the phone. But they delayed the gates opening again. So um, we're going to go to Target and then I'm going to grab lunch. I'm going to grab a drink and 
just so I can relax because I just I'm so nervous I'm so nervous I'm so nervous um but yeah all right y'all so I just left Walmart not Walmart <laughs> I have not shopped at Walmart in a very long time um target though i got this tripod it's not the one that i wanted i wanted the one with the um first of all look like somebody been already open and played with it i wanted the one with the legs that could wrap around like poles and stuff to make sure ain't nobody robbed me of my shit that i just paid for but it is what it is this will work um i'll be able to put my camera on my tripod so i have a sony camera um and it has this screw at the bottom so i literally just bam it don't extend or nothing i um i don't feel like i need one that extends especially if i'm just you know doing quick shots because i'm not a look at me type of person and this man is just sitting here staring in my car watching me talk to you guys but yeah this is this is really all i need especially um to go to dreamville and stuff like that and then it has this piece oh baby i don't know how to use this shit this ain't like what i have um yes yeah, so i guess i just screw this on Yeah, I'm about to go get lunch. I'm about to get a drink, like I said, so I can relax. And um, I'll probably, I might stop back by the hotel. I might stop back just to put my purse up. Um, Cause I'm not bringing my purse. I'm just bringing my body and my money. And that's it. Yeah. I don't want no picture with the president. I just want to talk to the man. Speak for the boys in a bando, and my nigga never walking again. Apologize if I'm hopping again. I know these things happen often, but I'm back on the scene. I was lost in a dream as I write this a team down in Austin. I've been building me a house back home in the South, my won't believe what it's costing. And it's fit for a king, right? Or a nigga that can sing and explain all the pain that it cost him. My 16 should have came with a coffin. It's got a big old back of yard. My niggas stand outside and pass cigars. Filled with marijuana, laughing hard. Thankful that they friends are platinum star. In the driveway, there's no rapper cars. Just some shit to get from back and forth. Just some shit to get from back and forth Welcome to the shelter, this is pure We'll help you if you felt too insecure To be the star you always knew you were Wait, I think police is at the door Okay, the neighbors think I'm selling dope Selling dope, selling dope, selling dope, selling dope. Selling dope. Motherfucker, I am Alright y'all, I'm a little lit So I cannot vlog no more of tonight um, Because I still gotta make sure that I make it back on my shuttle And then back to my car to drive 30 minutes to my hotel um, but I'm waiting on little Dirk for safety reasons. I don't think that I'm gonna make it to Usher set. Even I might. I don't know if I do make it to Usher set though. It's strictly water. Um, so yeah, I will keep y'all updated. But tonight was great. If y'all are worried about ever coming to the Dreamville Festival solo, like do it, do it because the vibes are immaculate. Like people are gonna find you regardless. So do it. <laughs> Too many! Too many! Oh, I saw you fuck you up with the people on this thing. 
amazing Riley don't owe me nothing else like I feel like I got my money's worth out of the first day um, all of the performances were amazing uh, Jesse is so beautiful in person little Dirk has a has a um, fan out of me for life like I really got to go see him in person like one-on-one -on -one. Um, who else loved Earth Gang set Usher killed it um, it was just, it was amazing. I'm surprised I still have a voice because all I did was yell for probably like two hours straight. Um, the environment was so nice. Like the atmosphere was just amazing. Um, I think if anyone's wondering about going alone next year, like if y'all want to go, but you don't have nobody to go with, like girl, just go because everyone is so nice. Everyone's going to take care of you. And it was just to me it was amazing the amount of people that were there and everybody was just cool like as soon as somebody heard i was by myself they were like oh you want to come with us like you good you straight just come sit on my blanket because i didn't have nothing i didn't know what to bring um and it was just it was everything that i could have asked for so i'm very excited for day two um it's a lot of people that i cannot wait to see today but i think i'm gonna be posted up at one stage today just so i can make sure that i get a good seat for um j cole and drake uh so i'll be at one stage just be and there's a lot of people that i want to see back to back i am sad that i'm gonna be missing um jid and burner boy but it is what it is because I got, um, I think Arya Star, um, who's after her? Waka Flocka. Um, then after Waka Flocka on that stage is Glorilla and then um, Drake, I think. So <clears throat> I'm about to go to the store. I'm about to go get me a clear book bag because I don't have one. Um, grab me a blanket so I can just be posted. I'm gonna go grab lunch again. Um, I didn't film much bef in between uh, me going to the store and me getting out there because I was damn near having a panic attack. <laughs> um, I was just extremely nervous and didn't know how I was going to maneuver. Um, but today is going to be great. Um, I'm going to charge my phone. Oh, I think I need to pick up a portable charger too. Um, just because I need to make sure I have battery for when I film and stuff like that. Um, I will say that one of the ladies was a bitch and she made me throw away my tripod um but then later that night i saw a whole bunch of people with tripods and professional cameras so i'm just confused but it is what it is she did make me throw away 70 dollars though so yeah um but yeah i'm gonna go out to lunch again have a couple drinks um and get ready for the day so i will see y'all in a little bit all right y'all day two <laughs> it's gonna go much better than yesterday even though yesterday didn't go bad at all i was just so anxious i was so anxious um but i'm on the way to go get lunch at this place called seasons 52 um i plan on having a decent lunch because i didn't really eat yesterday like once i got to a festival all i did was drink um which i didn't do a lot of drinking but I could have I could have done better I had one meal yesterday um, so yeah I'm gonna go get me a really big lunch um, 
gentlemen then we gonna head back to the festival i like i said will be posted up I, all my friends are gonna be bouncing back and forth um but i'm gonna be posted up so check in straight up now tell me do you really want to love me forever oh 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 or is it just a hit and run huh. hey we got a good thing don't know if i'ma see you again but is that a good thing cause girl i can't be your man no man i know what's on your brain you probably hope it never would end like is it the real thing or is it just a one night stand Get high and go low Now girl, won't you drop that thing down to the flow I'm here for one night, how far will you go? I wanna see ya Fuck it, you know what I mean? 2-6 And If you from Carolina, make some motherfucking noise right now Well, that's a step to see these other rounds when you sold that shit with that, I can't believe these fucking clowns Look how I'm betting on myself and I completely double down If you hate it on a nigga, please don't treat me with a pound I'll be standing out the way, but if the beef do come around So put a hit right on your head Take my steps on it, represent your shit and every one of y'all and out of respect for my brother who I've been doing this with for a long time I'd like to take it all the way back yeah I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year who the fuck are y'all I swear it feels like the last few nights we've been everywhere and back but I just can't remember it all I brought a lot of my family here for you tonight. Like I said, we can keep going if you want. I got brothers that really do this shit. Okay, you asked for. Nah, no, Uzi. No, Uzi. They asked for. Oh, 
stupid. My nigga, money talk. Wait, I'm so young, money got a drum on the gun. In a dress of bunny, fly, come kiss her all the time. Speak, speak, speak. Put your motherfucking hands up. Put your hands up. Like it's Nick Yes. I want to hear y'all. Oh, the gummies. What's up? I'm Mr. Body catcher. Body catcher. Ain't no regular F1 feet. It's a fucking. No cap a street nigga, not a rapper Never sees that I made way back in the veil Listen even back when we was broke on T.L. Martin Luther King would have been a dream Talk to him nigga, one time for my L.A. sisters I want a real love, dark skin and Aunt Viv love That Jada in that real love Good morning, y'all. I'm just gonna rename this the Krusty channel because 90% of the footage, I'm crusty as hell. Um, <laughs> but it is, what is today? It's Monday, it's the next morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm about to pack up my stuff and head back home. Um, this trip was everything I could have like ever imagined. Like, I don't want to say luck because it's not luck, but like the amount of blessings and just God's favor that I experienced this weekend is beyond anything that like I could ever imagine. Um, <clears throat> I was well taken care of. Everyone around me was just so nice, just so welcoming. Um, and I just, I, I literally... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it because it's just so much gratitude that I'm feeling and I can't even like put it into words of how blessed I feel to be here um and it's not like it's not like on no bragging shit or anything it's just like I fucked up so much that I can't believe that God is just spinning a block for me this hard and just being like here like here are these experiences like go enjoy life um because some days I don't be feeling like I deserve that. So I'm very just, I don't like, I really, I can't even explain it, but I'm happy. I had an amazing time. The festival was like more than I could imagine, more than got my money's worth. Like I would do it again 10 times over, like without hesitation. Um, so yeah, um, a couple of people did hit me on Instagram and was like, oh, like you're solo traveling. Do you have any um, advice or whatever? and uh, the biggest thing like i don't have too too much advice because nah, girl i don't know like i'm just now starting to do it for real um but this is my second solo trip um and the biggest thing i can just tell you is just be aware of your surroundings like that's the biggest thing like as long as you're like aware and and conscious of what's going on around you you should be fine like i can't tell you that like no off the wall shit ain't never gonna happen because it could but for the most part like i'm just aware of my surroundings like I still drank um but I just did it at a speed where I know like if anything pops off I can handle myself um and then like I don't I don't put any drinks down like I keep everything very close to me so my drinks are always close to me my bag is always like either on me I don't when I solo travel I don't carry big big bags for real like I either have like a small clutch or something close to the size of a fanny pack or smaller just so it can stay on my body and I can feel like if someone is like you know in my area first of all you shouldn't even be that close to me period but just in case you are like I can control that um never put my drinks down always keep my drinks closed um, I don't let anybody buy me drinks. Um, it's just I'm, you're by yourself. Like if anything happens, you're no one can get to you. No one's gonna know what happened. So um, I always buy my own drinks. Or if they do, like if someone does offer to buy you a drink, you could be right there with them. But like someone bringing you a drink, no, you're not about to root for me. No. Um, what else can I tell you? If you do have a um, license to carry a weapon, I would just make sure that you know the laws in the state that you're in because you could very well have it for, for example, South Carolina. But if you go to New York, New Jersey, um, I don't know about North Carolina, but just know the laws where you're at. Um, and yeah, I never also tell people that I'm traveling solo until I feel comfortable doing so. Like, it, like, And this is like, 
after I feel you out, we have a couple conversations and I'd be like, oh yeah, I did come to Dreamville Festival by myself. But that is something different. Um, people have told me that other festivals, I wouldn't have been good. Like um, this girl told me if I went to Rolling Loud in Atlanta, I would have been done for. So I do do my research on the things that I travel for. And it wasn't like, yes, I was alone, but I also knew some people who were here. So I did end up um, linking up with other people that I knew from time to time. Um, but then I also met new people that I was around for the majority of the time because we just, we had different wristbands and I did want to enjoy for what I paid for. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> if you do know people in the area, I would just let them know. Um, when I travel, I always let people know where I'm at. So like my dad has my location. My best friend has my location. Um, the people at my kid know, knew where I was at. I always called and checked in. Um, if I ever felt uncomfortable or like y'all know, like I said, I have really bad social anxiety. So when I was getting overwhelmed and stuff like that, I would just call my best friend and just be on the phone with her until I could like get my mind right. Um, or even like I just took my time. So like day one, I took a long ass time to get out there just because like I mentally had to um, prep myself and just get my mind right. So I wouldn't be like weird or just like off the wall when I got out in public. Um, but yeah, though, I, I mean, yeah, I think that's about it. It's just a good ass time. Um, I probably will have to sit down and think about more uh, traveling solo tips. But like I said, like I'm not an expert. This is only my second solo trip. Um, but it was a good one. It was a great one. Oh, I can tell y'all. I always put my like safety stuff on. That is another thing. When I go to the hotel rooms, I always like put the two locks on it. But then I also put the um, do not disturb hanger on my door just because I don't want nobody coming in my room when I'm not here. So that's that. Very eventful weekend. Definitely was on an alcohol diet this week. I don't had two meals in the past 48 hours. So, but I'm not even about to eat anything spectacular. Like I think I'm gonna just grab something that I can eat in my car um, because it is about time to get on the road. And I'm low key supposed to be at work. I forgot to bring my laptop and my phone. Um, so I do gotta hurry up and tap into my job. But that's about it, y'all. Like I said, it was such a great experience. J. Cole did his thing with this festival. It is so beautiful to see like a black owned festival just so fucking successful and just everything just ran so smoothly like down to even the emergencies the way that they handled emergencies was so quick fast and efficient and everyone was like working together to get the shit taken care of so it was just it was beyond beautiful beyond anything i could have ever imagined but yeah i will see y'all next time thank you so so much for tuning into my vlog i have no idea what the next one is gonna be because I don't, I don't do shit for real. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to this year. I'm trying to experience life a little bit more. Like I told y'all, I've been working since I was 13 years old. No days off just because that's who I was. So trying to get back what I work for. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all at the next one.